Welcome to episode two, Streets and Scholars with Alex Alonso and FG. And and I really I really liked our conversation last week we had about the no-knock warrant because you gave us some perspective on what it's really like when the police come to your door, when they knock on your door and they're coming to take you away. Man, that's crazy, man. You know, because everything is going through your head. You know, and especially, if, I mean, if you robbed a bank recently or you did something, you know, recently, then you kind of know what they might be here for. But if you out doing dirt all over, you know, you don't know which angle they coming from. So you really, really want to know what are they here for? You know what I mean? Because you instantly thinking, what charge am I, you know, is it robbery? Is it murder? Is it, you know what I mean? What what did I, what am I being charged with? You know, so um, it's definitely something that... Um, if you haven't been through, man, it's, 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 it's a wild ride. Now, is it true that when the police are actually physically knocking on your door, you already know that's the police because of the way they hit the door? Man, let me tell you something. <laughs> I was in there knocked out sleep. You know, I had just got home at 5 in the morning. I remember it like it was yesterday. And uh, maybe about 6, you know what I mean? Um, the way they knocked on that door, it was no doubt. <laughs> <laughs> that this was the police, no doubt. You know what I mean? And and, and you, in your mind, you, oh, that's the police. You know, no one else knocks like that. You know, and um, and um, so yeah, man, it's it's something um surprising. Okay, well, Amir Locke was recently killed in Minneapolis, Minnesota, because of a, a no knock warrant. And right now, the police officer that killed him, let's let's put his name out there. His name is Mark Hanneman. And according to the Minneapolis Police Department, they're saying he violated Minneapolis police policy by shooting and killing him once they did the no-knock warrant. Now, I don't really know the specifics of it, mm-hmm. but they all have, they have an attorney. The family has an attorney. Um, Amir Locke's family has an attorney. Of course, it is the... The legendary Ben Crump, who is known for taking on, you know, I think he was on the Breonna Taylor case mm-hmm. uh, a couple years ago. So it looks like the Ben Crump is going to sue the city of Minneapolis and the Minneapolis Police Department. And he's going to also name police officer Mark Hanneman for the shooting. Although I don't really know any specifics, Ben Crump is calling for the termination of Mark Hanneman. Yeah, they also uh, they called him for the termination, but his mom, and while she was, I think, I believe her name was uh, Karen, Karen Wells. She was um, in her eulogy. She was stating that um, she want to ban the uh, no knock raids. You know, ban them all together. You know, so um, hopefully they can get that done. Hopefully they can get this officer fired. You know, but they have to do something. Because if they don't, then guess what? The next no-knock raid. What's going to stop the next officer from shooting the next guy? You know, and all they have to do is see a gun or say, you know, guy probably didn't even reach for his gun or nothing. Because when you do that no-knock, the door fly open so fast, you know, even if it was an intruder. You know, it's hard to recuperate while you sleep, you know, jump up while you sleep and grab your gun and point it and do what you got to do. You know, so um, these are trained law enforcement. You know, you guys know what you're doing. You guys know what you're up against. Once these guys, and, and this is happening across the country, and until Ben Crump and other attorneys start not just the lawsuits, but getting these dudes locked up, you know, charges filed against these guys, it's going to keep happening. Well, to Ben Crump's defense, he's a civil rights attorney. In order for charges to come against Officer Mark Henneman, it would have to be the county where the city of Minneapolis is at. They have to decide that this guy did something that was so egregious that we're going to file charges. Or if they don't, then the federal government can come in and try to sue, I mean, um, try to file a a charge, either a murder or a manslaughter charge against Mark Hanneman. Right. At this point, it's up in the air. Uh, I believe they'll make some progress on it, you know, and uh, sometimes it takes time. Of course, they got to do the investigation. You know, they got to talk to their big wigs. You know, what kind of officer uh, was this? Did he have any prior incidents that's on his on his record that we don't know as a public? You know, so I think all those factors are going to take into consideration because at the end of the day, you know, uh, uh, like you say, the attorneys is pushing for the body cams of each officer that was involved. You know, they want to see exactly what happened to see if your story exactly matching what you see. And when, if they can obtain them, them uh, recordings, then they can look at it. And if it's one discrepancy in there, that's, that's, that could be the first way of getting him out of there, you know, as an officer. Well, the county is Hennepin County, where the city of Minneapolis is at. Officer Hanneman is on administrative leave, and according to Ben Crump, he does have a history of violating 
people's civil rights. We don't know the specifics of that just yet, but it's not looking good for uh, Officer Mark Hanneman. And I just I thought that initially I thought that it would probably be a legal shooting because the dude had a gun. Right. And what are you going to do as a cop? When you see somebody with a gun, cops shoot automatically. They, they don't really try to figure it out. They just, they see a gun. They, they, to me, they're so scared. As soon as they see a gun, they start shooting. That's not an all instances, you know, because how many of these serial killers, these white serial killers, you know, and that's what's what it is. They kill a whole 16 people and they walk them into the police officer station like it's nothing. It seemed like a whole bunch of these dudes was doing these mass murders. They sure can't catch them with an AR-15 and walk them in, into the um, police station. You know, why aren't our people, you know, uh, uh, afforded the same same um, um, deal? Yeah, you're right. Sometimes I'm, I'm surprised and shocked that some of the people, they take into custody without incident. Yeah, no doubt. Yeah. Um, hey, when your skin is not white, they say it ain't right. <laughs> Thanks for watching this video clip of Streets and Scholars podcast with Alex Alonso and FG. If you want to listen to the entire episode, go to your favorite podcast platform and type in Streets and Scholars. But we're available on Apple Podcasts, Google Play, and Spotify. And thanks for listening to another episode of Streets and Scholars.